I'm just a girl that loves a good Turkish show. Okay guys, I just finished watching The Tailor, which is on Netflix, and I was blown away by this incredible and transformative story about Payami, who's a very successful fashion designer living in Istanbul and is in business with his lifelong friend Dimitri, who just also happens to be a raving lunatic. Payami and Dimitri's friendship will be put to the test when Payami finds himself falling in love with Dimitri's fiance, Ezvet. Esvet's adoptive parents are forcing her to marry Dimitri, who abuses her behind closed doors. Since Evet's parents don't seem to mind the abuse their daughter is dealing with, it'll be up to Esvet to save herself. It all starts when Payami is called over to Dimitri's house to alter Esvet's wedding dress, and Esvet overhears that Payami is looking for a caregiver for his mentally disabled father who just recently moved in. Esvet decides to run away to avoid the upcoming wedding and shows up at Payami's house with a different name to apply for the caregiver job. Now when Payami met Esvet for the first time while he was measuring her wedding dress, Esvet was hidden behind a thick wedding veil and Payami was blindfolded to keep up with the tradition of no man being allowed to see the bride in her wedding dress before the wedding. Yet yeah, he's that good, no eyeballs needed. Payami has no idea that the applicant is really Esvet using a fake name, so he hires her on the spot and tells her, that, tells her that no one can know about his father's existence, being that Payami has always been ashamed of his father's mental disability and all. Dimitri and his family desperately try to find Esvet and bring her back before the wedding date, but that's not going to happen. So while Dimitri is having a meltdown because of his runaway bride, Payami and Esvet start getting very friendly with each other, and since Payami doesn't know that she's Dimitri's missing fiance, he allows himself to fall in love with her. Payami does eventually figure out that the woman he just fell in love with is indeed his best friend's missing fiance and has to make a decision. Does he send Esvet back to Dimitri knowing that he will continue to abuse her or worse? Or does he continue to hide her? Payami eventually faces the fact that Esvet is in great danger and decides to help her escape. So while Payami is digesting the bomb that just blew up in his face, Dimitri starts putting all the puzzle pieces together and realizes that Esvet has been hiding at Payami's house this entire time and goes berserk. Payami decides to meet with Dimitri and try to talk him into ending the engagement and letting Esvet go since she doesn't want to marry him, but this does not go the way he planned it out at all. I don't know why he thought that Dimitri would ever agree to this. Dimitri is obsessed with Esvet and he's enraged by his best friend's betrayal, even threatening his life. Dimitri pulls out a gun on Payami and Esvet, in an attempt to try to save Payami from being killed, garnishes her own gun and points it at Dimitri. But as she pulls the trigger, Payami jumps in front of Dimitri and takes the bullet instead. This is an incredibly intense story and I cannot wait to watch season two. You can find this show on Netflix and other Turkish TV show streaming services, which I'll link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and until next time, gule gule!